LA has been known to have the highest population of homelessness. No wonder why people are leaving this horrible city. It's just grown to be out of control. And I'm talking about the homeless problem going on. You can see all the tents. One area in particular is Skid Row. It's known to be a pretty bad part of downtown because it's filled with homelessness, drug addicts, and people who are mentally ill. And they ended up being on the streets. And it's been an ongoing problem for years. In today's episode, I'm going to be driving around downtown LA to see how bad the situation has gone. We are heading towards the north side of downtown along Alameda Street. The thing is, how can LA has been unable to solve the homeless problem? Well, I'll give you an answer. The politics, you know, the state is ran by liberals and they're not expected to do anything about the problem, you know. The problem is only going to get worse, which is why people are frustrated, are fed up with the problem affecting them in their daily lives. Right here, we're heading towards Little Tokyo. And right here, we couldn't go by Skid Row. Obviously, I don't want to go down there. There's hell of homeless people there. I did not feel comfortable going down Skid Row. It's just a dump. It's a hellhole. California in general is not safe anymore. The reason why is because, you know, a high cost of living, crime, homelessness, and the politicians. The thing that I don't understand is, if you guys seen the debate on Fox News between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and California Governor Gavin Newsom, Ron DeSantis shows a map of San Francisco's um, human feces around the streets and explains everything while Newsom is just there smirking and laughing like he doesn't seem to care about fixing the problem at all. It's no surprise that he survived the recall because, you know, many people were fooled that he did a good job to California when indeed he did not at all. He's one of the worst governors California has ever experienced. He did not fix the homeless problem at all. He did not fix the problems in San Francisco when he was mayor. And currently, he doesn't care about fixing LA's crime and homelessness as well as the shoplifting that he knows about but refuses to talk about it. The scary part is, if a homeless camp is invading your business, Many people will not come because, you know, they fear for their safety. They fear that a homeless person will assault them or kill them, given how they're high on some substance. Another reason why California sucks now in general, it's because of the zero dollar bail they put in. So pretty much criminals don't stay in jail long. Uh, they get released the next day and they're back on the streets. Especially after they assaulted someone, killed somebody, raped somebody. You know, the list goes on and on. The next reason why California is terrible is because of the traffic. Especially LA, it's known to have traffic. It's just horrible, man. Everywhere you want to go, traffic, you're just going to run into it all the time. So, if you like driving, then be prepared. If you want to take public transit... Um, it's just terrible, man. Public transit here is terrible. It's just dangerous, you know, because of the crime, homelessness, especially the LA Metro. Uh, the subways in general are just terrible, you know, and riding the bus can be lengthy. It takes a long time to get around. I don't really feel safe taking the LA Metro anymore because, you know, it's just terrible. It's just unsanitary there. Many people are just avoiding public transit in general, so they just stick to driving or taking an Uber, but they're just going to be stuck in traffic. Another reason why California sucks now is because of the cost of living. You heard that right. It's so expensive to live here. Let's say you're single. You want to rent a one-bedroom apartment for yourself? Well, it's going to cost you $3,000 and up for just one tiny-ass apartment. That doesn't even include your essentials or parking in general. So it's just terrible. It's horrible here. It's so expensive to live here. 
I feel like California is slowly becoming a place just for rich people now and not for low income communities or people who are in the middle class. The middle class is going to be gone soon, so it's just going to be either rich or poor. While the rich get richer, the people who are in the middle class or earn less than $80,000 a year, we will be considered poor. Like, California doesn't care about us anymore. They only care about really rich folks and not us who are in the middle class or earn less than $80,000 a year. Don't forget, the state tax here is the highest in the nation. The taxes here are high, and it's going to continue that way. And the last and final reason why California is horrible now, it's because of the politics. The politics here are horrible. It's ran by liberals who don't really care at all. All the lies they say to get elected or to stay in office pretty much don't make sense. Like, they don't care. They don't care at all. They don't seem to care about fixing the problems California is facing. And all these laws they pass don't even make sense. And it really, really, really affects us all. So this is why I'm getting the hell out of the state soon. It's horrible. The best thing you could do is just don't move here. Get the hell out of here. Don't come here. California is horrible. It's not a good place to raise your family or to start a business. Rent here is horrible. Starting a business can be pretty expensive here in California if you want to start a business. So you pretty much have to pay a lot of rent, which is why business owners are fed up and they're closing up shop because they just can't stand it here anymore and the sad part is there's nothing you could do about it there's nothing we can do to fix this problem no matter how bad it gets no matter who runs the state there's nothing you could do nothing will change people's minds about moving out of california people are leaving california every year because they just can't stand it anymore and it's definitely a sad reality. California used to be the dream, like the song California Dreaming. California, California Dreaming, such a winter's day. Well, those days are certainly over. The California Dream, it's pretty much dead. Well, that's all I gotta say for this video. This series will continue on, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. In my next series, I'm going to be exploring different parts of California, including the suburbs, as well as the good and bad parts too, so stay tuned. You could also follow me on my social media platforms as well, so I'll be active on those. I'm mainly on Instagram, so you can follow me there. So anyways, that's it for this video. The series will continue on. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Be safe out there.